key figure in the Macomb County corruption scandal has been found dead in his home. The man was charged with bribery and helped as an informant to the feds. Police originally thought 61 year old Stephen Hohensi died of natural causes, but now his death is under additional scrutiny. Seven investigator Jim Kirstner broke the story on WXYZ.com and has more tonight from Macomb County. According to sources, the Macomb County Medical Examiner's Office released this body for cremation, then called it back today to do a full autopsy and blood toxicology. The new question tonight is, did Hohensi commit suicide by overdosing on drugs? Sources tell the seven investigators Stephen Ohensi was found by his wife on the floor of a bathroom inside their home here in Shelby Township on Wednesday. Pill bottles were seen nearby. There are no other indications of foul play inside the home. The obituary does not list a cause of death. It only says he died on Wednesday and that he is a husband and father. His death would come two days after he was in federal court in Detroit on Monday when he signed this document, waiving a formal grand jury indictment. This other document shows he was charged with bribery, accepting $10,000 from a contractor and facing up to 10 years in prison. But he was on his way to a plea deal and a reduced time in prison. He helped the feds make a case against two others who paid him the bribes. They too are pleading guilty in their cases. Toxicology to determine if there are any substances, any drugs in this guy's body could take several weeks and it's not clear if this will affect any other pending federal cases. In Macomb County, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News.